Hello my soccer universe, let's look what's there to watch this weekend up until Monday and I decided yeah, now that I have this Atalanta shirt I might as well mix it up and wear Atalanta although they're not playing all that great of a game but interestingly they're playing a huge game um, this evening, I'm recording this Thursday uh, early evening against I think Napoli and yeah I might as well have jinxed it with it but it's a really nice jersey and I wanted to do something different. We're not starting in Serie A, we start in La Liga and if I look here at the schedule um, I think it's Bilbao Real Madrid that is the one tie that sticks out but I also see Villarreal against Barcelona. Um, Villarreal has been great since the restart and Barcelona has been, uh, how, how, how should I say, rather unconvincing, I think is probably the best way to put it. So um, that's a trap game and basically if everything goes by plan, Real Madrid could lift off there. I would actually expect Real Madrid to maybe even drop points, but I actually see Villarreal winning against Barcelona. That has been traditionally a game with many, many goals, so let's see where this will go and also note that Sevilla who has been always been the first team to play is not the last team to play which I also find interesting Atletico Madrid starts off the round against Mallorca in the Premier League we go from Saturday through Monday um, I think Wolves against Arsenal is one that sticks out a little bit um, and then it's Spurs against Everton but nothing really much riding on it. I want to see what Le if Leicester City can in any way bounce back. They are also a team that is uh, desperately looking for form. I would expect Manchester United to pull a bunch of, uh, behind Bournemouth. Um, and yeah, Liverpool against Aston Villa. Let's see. I really want to see how seriously is Liverpool taking things from now on. We have also, and this is now the very last time that we talk about Germany. Because we have the cup final between Leverkusen and Bayern on Saturday in the evening. Could be interesting, but I expect a clear Bayern win. And then we have the return leg. And again, the first leg is being played now bef after I'm recording. So there's no result here. But um, we was the return leg and we'll see whether Bremen stays in or whether Heidenheim is for the first time in the Bundesliga. Let's go to... Serie A. Well, it starts out with a pretty big derby, Juve against Torino, pretty one-sided derby, but you know, Torino, a little bit like Espanyol, likes to trip up Juve here, here and there. So yeah, Lazio against Milan, huge matchup. Uh, a few years ago, I would have said, yeah, Milan gets at least a point out of that, but Lazio, let's see how, how this goes. Inter could, there's a chance that they could claw themselves back a little bit in the race because they, they only play Bologna. And then a big game uh, regarding Champions League um, and Europa League qualification is Napoli against Roma. So um, that's uh, that's also an in interesting one Sunday late in the evening. And since I'm wearing Atalanta, Atalanta is playing against Cagliari where you also would expect that they get something. Parma against Fiorentina. Sounds probably better than it will be in the huge relegation battle between Sampdoria and Spal. Also, Udin again, I could have some implications in there. Um, let's go to the two supplemental leagues, as I like to call them. Uh, Portugal, for, for once, has a rather normal schedule from Friday through Monday. This is almost like normal. Uh, Befik is playing Boa Vista, um, which I guess is the game of the round and Porto against Belenenses, I wouldn't expect anything there, so it's all Lisbon against uh, Porto matchups uh, in the title race, but the title race looks very much over. You see the ray of the sun coming in here? I find this rather interesting. You see it's early evening and the sun is going down. And then we finish in Austria last round. Um, pretty much everything is decided except who is going to be third and fourth. And that's between Lusk and Wolfsburg, who Lusk plays at home to Salzburg. I don't expect much in Wolfsburg against the Rapid team that probably has secured the second spot undeservedly. So, and let's see where this will go more on that uh, in the video that I'll shoot tomorrow. So, yeah, I probably it will be enough for Wolfsburg to get just the point and whatever. And um, that is that, and they will get the, the third spot in Lusk 
will lick their wounds, unfortunately. So that's what's there to watch uh, this weekend. Let me know what you'll be watching. I, I still have to source it out, but I guess it will be a lot of Serie A and a little bit the Real Madrid Bilbao uh, game. Unfortunately, Premier League, I have to say, mm, so and so and so. Let's see how hard it will go. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that will be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.